Alrighty Hosses, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to create different layouts for different types of devices. Now the easiest way to explain this is actually just to show you an example, a bunch of examples. So that's what I'm going to be doing and for the first one, let's say that we we're making some kind of social network, I don't know, maybe we'll call it the new boston.com, whatever, and we were designing the user stream, the page where they scroll through all their friends posts. Now whenever we're looking at this on a phone each post we want to take up the entire width of the screen you know use the most space phones aren't that big it looks great now if we try to do this on a desktop imagine looking at it on a desktop and every single picture took up the entire width of the screen it would look a little bit goofy so say on phones take up the entire width but on desktops take up half the width so phones entire width desktops each post is going to take up half the width so how do we accomplish this well everything in bootstrap that we want to be responsive we need to stick inside a row and then we make a whole bunch of columns alright so up until now whenever we made a column we just said something like column MD uh, you know whatever and we used the same one for every single thing and we kinda let bootstrap take care of all the hard work well this is how we accomplish different layouts for different devices so we add a column now remember on a phone which is an extra small device we want it to take up the entire width of the screen so that means 12 since bootstrap uses a 12 column system now for desktops desktops are MD which are medium devices desktops laptops these are just normal computers we'll say whenever you run this on a desktop take up six columns which would be half the screen and just so we have something to look at let me change the background to like a uh, light blue and actually let me say this and why are you giving me look at this it suggested the name light blue to me and then it told me there's a typo in it well maybe you shouldn't have gave me a typo when or maybe you shouldn't have suggested it if you're just gonna give me a freaking typo so that's your fault alright so now let me just change these colors so it's a little bit e easier to see so what do we have blue that's what I like about IntelliJ too look at these these colors pop up so you can actually change them right from here which is pretty sweet and alright good enough let me run this alright so check it out I'm looking at it on a desktop right now so each of these little posts or images whatever they would be they're gonna take up half the width of the screen and then if I was looking at it on my phone which is a smaller device they would take up the entire width of the screen a brilliant user experience now let me just run one more little example like this just so uh, we have something else to play with so say that um, I don't know like maybe on phones uh, I'll say a half and for desktops they can take up a third and let me change this right there and maybe right there and for some reason this hex color is kind of bothering me since every other one is a a name and let me just change this right there and alright so for phones since we want them to take up half of the screen we're going to change all these to six so six 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 now for desktops since we want those to take up a third what's a third of twelve I think it's four do the math and check it out so this is a desktop and remember on a desktop four goes into twelve three times now on phones and smaller devices check it out each of these little sections take up half of the width of the screen so maybe you want to like uh, the users menu bar on the left and maybe like all their content on the right whatever you want to do get creative now another cool thing I want to show you guys is how to offset columns and by offsetting columns I mean you see how this green column or this little green section right here is directly under 
this blue section well sometimes you want to indent it a little bit so you don't want it to start until like right here where my mouse is so how do you kind of offset it from the side a little bit well I'll be like offsetting columns offsetting is that not a word I thought it was hmm interesting all right so div class row and div columns right in there all right so what we would do here is let's just give it a column of like a md4 so it's going to take up a third of the screen whenever you're looking at it on a desktop and let me just put four wide or something in here and give it a color too all right so we got one little chunk and it's taking up a third whenever we're going to look at it on the desktop now if i wanted to make another row underneath it but i wanted this to be offset by a little bit what i can do is this i can make pretty much the same exact thing but i can pass in one other class and that's column md offset and we'll offset it by like a two whatever so in other words it's not going to start right up against the left side it's going to go two over and then start so if i run this check it out so this one we just said take up a third of the screen which it did and this red one right here it's also taking up a third of the screen but we offset it in other words you said before you begin move two columns over and then do your thing now remember whenever you're doing this that you wasted two columns on offsetting so you don't have you know um, eight other columns to work with you only have six since two for offsetting plus four so and uh that wasn't me that was not me <laughs> all right now the last thing i want to show you is how to nest rows so say that um like you had a little chunk right here or let's do it this way so say that each of these were like a post for your social network and inside here you also wanted to create a bootstrap so you pretty much wanted to take a layout and stick it inside another layout but you wanted to make it all responsive sounds confusing right well it's actually pretty easy and let me scroll up so you guys all of that is out of sight out of mind so nesting um rows so let's just go ahead and make a generic um, div and class row div class and we'll just say that we're making like um, um, a column that's nine wide so we won't make it take up the entire screen we'll say column on desktops and every device actually this is going to take up nine out of 12 which is three quarters of the screen all right so here is our main content we'll say that like hey I went to the movies today so this is you know like some girls post on some social network and inside here we wanted to make another section let's say for the comments that was also responsive well all we have to do is we start making actually let me separate this so it's a tidbit easier to see we start making that entire structure again so div class row and okay Haas so div class column and we can do whatever we want here so MD and uh, let's just put two in here so six now remember whenever you have the columns right here even this took up nine this new structure that you're making is using this as a reference so it's pretty much looking at it as an entire new screen now remember you still can't exceed 12 columns but even if this is 9 you can have 12 columns in here just no more than that so we'll say in here um, I'll, I'll just say like child 1 and let me just give it a style so background what's this like light blue let me add one more
And this will be light salmon. Light slamin. And probably should add a color to the outside or else it may look a tidbit goofy. So the outside will give it what's oh, a good color? Light sea green. And also let me add some padding so you guys can really see easily what the heck is going on. So it'll be like 30 pixels. Give it some huge padding. Alright, so check this out. The parent took up nine out of 12 columns so three quarters of the screen now the children that were inside this entire thing is based on a 12 column system so child one and I named them both child one for some reason so child one is taking up six and child which should be child two is taking up six as well so remember every time you make a new row you get 12 more columns and if you wanted to you can actually do something like this so you can have each of these on a new row so child one and child two and changes to like light coral so now instead of being side by side they're each on a new row and they're each going to take up half of the parent which looks like this so there you go now usually in here you'd want to do something like have them span all 12 columns and that's how like comments usually work whenever you're looking at a post or whatever but there you go hopefully you guys understand how to use multiple columns in multiple classes for creating different dynamic types of layouts for different devices so uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy see you next time